Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a foundation drawer declutter video. So if you guys have been watching my channel the last couple of weeks, you know I'm on this low buy journey situation. And one of the things I just feel like I have too much of, there's products in here that I don't necessarily love, that I can definitely declutter or give away or sell or whatever, is foundations. I just wanna keep what I really, really love or I wanna use up and get out of my collection. So that's what we're doing today. I actually already decluttered this drawer, but I wanted to film this video. So I put all my decluttered shit back in here. So hope you guys are ready for it. Without further blabbering, let's get into this declutter video. And the first foundation I will be decluttering is this guy. This is the, let me go like this. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This came out quite recently, I think, a little bit before the holidays and I didn't really think I was gonna like this foundation but you know sometimes you get excited and you're like let me try it it's very much a tinted moisturizer like it says it is and I just wanted to try it out I was very curious I like the packaging it's great for travel I have the shade medium dark and I don't like it I just don't think it's enough coverage for me I do like to let you guys know that I love full coverage foundations and I will show you some foundations in here that I absolutely love, but this is not one of them. Another one that I don't love and I want to declutter is this guy. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is her Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation and I have this in the shade 370, which is I think the same shade I have her matte foundation in as well. Again, very similar packaging to the ColourPop one. And I just didn't like this foundation. It wasn't long wearing enough, which is a huge problem for me because I like my foundations to wear a very, very long time. I usually have pretty long work days. And so therefore this one just does not work for me. The next foundations I'm decluttering again are tinted moisturizers. My friend Angie was nice enough to bring me these because she got them in PR from the brand NYX. And she got me two shades because she wasn't sure what my shades would be. And we have BWMSV08 and 09. It's Nutmeg, Sienna, and Deep Sable. These colors just don't really work for me. And because of that, I didn't really try this foundation out a lot. I didn't feel like it was completely like useless. I did feel like it gave me pretty decent coverage because I did try this on my face, but it ended up, I think, being a little too orange for me. So maybe, maybe what I can do is try and find the right shade at Target or something because I did see these at my local Target. The next foundations I'm decluttering are again another thing that was sent to me from a friend. My friend Letitia sent me these from It Cosmetics. She thought these shades would work with my skin tone. I know It Cosmetics is very popular. The CC Plus line is incredibly popular. I did buy the original foundation. And what I found with these foundations and this line in particular is it just looks very ashy on my skin. I don't know what it is. I don't know if any other tan girls out there have the same issue with these guys. But I just feel like so gray and I don't know if it's because of the SPF because the SPF is so high. I know a lot of lighter skin tones swear by this foundation but with my tan skin I just really don't enjoy this. The next foundation I'm decluttering is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer. This was supposed to be like a dupe to the Makeup Forever foundation like the HD foundation that they had but I didn't really like it. And I don't know, it's weird, like, I really just like full coverage matte foundations and I didn't feel like this was that great of a foundation, so I am decluttering that one as well. Okay, this is one I'm keeping. This is one of my favorite foundations. This is like the first high-end foundation I ever purchased. This was recommended to me by a girl at Sephora when I first started shopping there because my town got one a while ago and yeah she recommended the shade Tahoe and Syracuse those are like my winter and summer shades in this foundation I'm sure I have four bottles here's another one so yeah I have Tahoe and Syracuse so these are my 
um, winter and sorry my winter and summer shades in this foundation this is the foundation I wore on my wedding day it's such a great match for me I really really like these these are the NARS sheer girl foundations and I honestly don't have anything bad to say about them I know NARS has come out with a few different other formulas since these ones but I still love this one the OG one is the best one in my opinion so another one I am decluttering is this light illusion by flower beauty this is the luminous makeup with nude skin feel and I thought this was okay the hardest part with some of these is the color match I feel like I look so orange in a lot of these drugstore foundations so that's why I want to get rid of this and I'm just not in love with it, so why keep it? So it is getting decluttered. Next one that I'm decluttering is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. This one, she did extend the shade. So before, I think it only had like an option number eight, number nine, and I think it ended at nine, and there was just no shade between 8.5 and nine. Or sorry, there was no... There is no shade between 8 and 9, and I definitely didn't match the 8 or the 9, so once she extended the shade range, I did pick up the 8.5, and I just didn't love this foundation, and therefore I refuse to just keep it. Another foundation that I kind of regret purchasing, again, I think this is the wrong shade, or at least not my winter shade. I think I can maybe get away with this in the summer. It's so hard for me to find foundation matches a lot of these products and brands are not available in store for me so I have to buy online and then I kind of have to quickly decide if the shade is going to work for me if the foundation is going to work for me otherwise I miss the return deadline and then I'm kind of stuck with it so this is the Dior Backstage in 4.5 Warm I think is what the W stands for I like this packaging it's very like easy to travel with and stuff but yeah this shade is definitely is definitely too dark for me right now but I am gonna keep it because it's Dior and I can't afford to just get rid of this this was a hit for me in 2019 this is the Urban Decay stay naked foundation here is my shade and as you can see I have made good progress on this foundation I think the shade is a little bit too dark for me right now um, for the winter time but I really enjoyed this in the summer. It's long wearing, but it feels very light on your skin. So I would definitely recommend this. This is definitely one of my new favorite foundations in my collection. Sometimes I do dumb things and I buy foundations because of the cute packaging. And that's kind of what happened with the found sealer. I bought this in the summertime and I definitely felt like it was too dewy to wear in the summer. But I thought it might be a good winter foundation for me and now since I am in full-blown winter I really should pull this out and try it some more uh, but I just need to make a note to myself never buy Tarte foundations they're just not that great and there's way too many options in this world now for me to buy Tarte okay this guy so hyped on YouTube especially in the I don't know 2015 2016 time frame this is the hourglass what is this called? It's the Primer Serum. Uh, gosh, it has a name and everybody wanted this primer back in the day. It was like the most hyped primer on YouTube and I was poor and so I just bought the sample travel size bottle and I did not enjoy it. I've definitely come to terms with the fact that I am not a person that enjoys priming my skin. Um, I'm okay to just use a moisturizer and then just go in with my foundation so I just put primer on my no buy category of 2020 because I just don't buy it I don't like it this is the Juvia's Place stick foundation I saw Angie review these products as well she recently did like a review roundup on a bunch of new products she tried so Amy is on the Juvia's Place PR list and she bought me she actually bought me three shades I don't know where the other one is but she gave me three of these shades to try out and I really like the idea of this stick foundation, but I pretty much had the same experience Angie did. It was an okay foundation, but I didn't like the look of it on me too much. Like, it was pretty decently long wearing, but by the end of the day, it just faded, and I don't know, I didn't love it. 
So I'm not going to keep it because life is too short. And I'm also getting rid of the Wet n Wild um, stick foundation. This was actually a pretty decent one for the drugstore. So if you're really balling on a budget, you could check that out. ColourPop, I honestly don't even remember my thoughts on this. But if I can't remember my thoughts on it, most likely it wasn't very good. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, this is another gift that Letitia sent me. Um, these are too light for me, and so I have to declutter them because I can't really use them on my skin tone. I really love this foundation by Sephora. This was a happy mistake. I think I picked this up when I was in Vegas in 2019. Oops. When I was in Vegas in 2019, and I really like this. If you're into full coverage foundations, you will really like this. A little bit goes a long way. This is the shade Bronze Bronze 35, and it's like a $20 foundation, and you can get this at Sephora. It's by the Sephora brand, and I think it's as good as my Double Wear foundation, so I'm definitely keeping that. This Maybelline foundation, I actually don't remember how I feel about this, so I feel like this is going to be one that I am going to have to try out and decide if I'm going to keep or get rid of. The shade definitely looks very orange, which is freaking me out right now. So I need to kind of have a little reckoning with that one and decide if I'm going to keep it or not. Maybelline has a new foundation out. I saw it at Walmart when I was there recently and I could not eyeball a shade that will work for me. So I ended up walking away from that. And technically I'm not really supposed to be buying foundation in 2020 because as you can see, I have plenty of foundations. This is a NARS foundation that I bought because I love NARS. And I didn't love it when I initially started using it. But then I ended up really enjoying this in the summertime. This is the Velvet Matte Skin, skin Tint. I think this definitely is like a full coverage. I don't think it's a skin tint by any means. It's a very good product and I really, really enjoy using this in the summertime. So hoping to pan that and then here is a product that is a youtuber favorite this is the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation andrea matiliano raves about this foundation so of course the curious camper in me picked it up to try it out and i honestly didn't think it was that great and the shade range isn't very good either so i am decluttering that this is the pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is a foundation, I think everyone says that Raw Beauty Christy really likes this foundation. And I picked it up during a, a Alta sale. And I actually do really like this foundation. I think it is, again, a nice full coverage foundation. I really like this shade I got. If you guys are similar skin tone to me, this is the shade I have. And I think it works really well with my skin. So I am going to be keeping that. So the Hourglass one, this is the shade. I um, have loved this one for quite some time, but I'm kind of over it. I never really reached for it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I should just like attempt to use this up. This was one of the first stick foundations. I think that really came on the market from like a high-end brand. And you guys know Hourglass makes some really beautiful, luxurious things. So I don't know. This one I think I need to put in like a reckoning pile. I need to really decide if I'm ready to part with it or not. Some of the things I'm decluttering, I'm so sure I don't want, but some of them I'm kind of on the fence about. This one I'm going to keep because it makes for really good talking points in videos. And this is the Pat McGrath Foundation. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, and I have it in the shade 21. Spent a lot of money on this foundation. It's the most expensive foundation I own very easily in my collection. But that's okay. I'm not too salty about it. It's actually not so bad. I enjoy it. I think I can get pretty good wear out of it. So I am keeping this in my collection. The next foundation I love so much. I haven't worn this in a while. This is the Huda Beauty. What is this called? Her uh, Full Filter Coverage Cream Foundation. I have the shade bak Baklava, which is 34G. This is my winter shade. And then Gingerbread, which is 430N. Um, which is my summer shade. I had to like wing these color matches. So I'm sure if I ever could get color matched in person and actually trusted the person to match me properly, 
I could probably get some decent color matches, but I love this foundation. It's so long wearing and just so, so good. So I'm definitely keeping these two. Okay, here's another foundation, stick foundation. This is the Conceal and Perfect Foundation from Milani. This I don't remember loving, so I'm going to go ahead and de declutter it. But if I find some time, I might give this another shot just to see how, if I like remember hating it, like why. Like I can't remember why I don't like it. Here are two of my favorite foundations. Oh my goodness, the Fenty Beauty. See, I haven't used it in a while, so it's like laying flat in my drawer. But I've used up a pretty good amount of this. This is the shade Pro Filter in 340. So I love this foundation so, so much. I think this is a great color match for me. I'm so happy I tried this. I Again, like I said, I really like this one. Don't like the other one, this one. The second one she came out with. Most people anticipated really liking this one, but yeah, I like the original, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Everyone raves about this foundation. It is so good. I don't know, it just lasts all day and it's so flawless. So if you like a flawless look, this is the foundation for you. I use this on all my clients. If I ever do any freelance work, any proms, bridles, I think this is like a universally flattering foundation. Okay, one from this summer that I didn't love that I'm so shocked so many people like this foundation. But every time I mention it as a foundation I don't like, people will comment and say, thank you for saying you don't like it because I don't like it either. And that kind of makes me really happy um, because, you know, sometimes when you hear so many people say good things about one thing, it makes you feel a little crazy. So here I am. I'm decluttering this. This is the ABH foundation in 410C. I don't think it's too horrible, but again, my problem with this is it's not long wearing enough. I usually wear my makeup through a whole work day, so if it doesn't last like 10 hours, then I don't have time for it. Okay, I don't really remember my thoughts on this concealer, but it's very obviously the wrong shade for me. So I am decluttering this. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define. I am on the hunt for a concealer to make my dark circles disappear. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would be all ears on that. The next foundation I'm getting rid of is this one by The Ordinary. They have two of them. I owned them both, and they were honestly pretty good. I'm just getting rid of these because I'm trying to minimize, and I don't know. I just like these foundations better, so like, why keep something I don't necessarily love? So, yeah, getting rid of that. Here's a foundation I wanted to try out because I was curious to see if it would be a dupe for the Dior Air Flash foundation, which is super duper expensive. I don't think Sephora makes this anymore, and this is the wrong shade for me anyway, so I have to get rid of it. Two more things I am getting rid of. I don't like this shade. This is the Infallible Pro Glow in 211. I think 210 is a better shade for me. I don't know if I have a 210, but... As you guys can see, I did try to like use this up, but I didn't end up doing that. This is one of my favorite glowy foundations, and it is from the drugstore. Like, who would have thought? Concealer, I was not impressed with, so I would rather like give it away or sell it. So, yeah, it was okay, but I'm, I'm trying to declutter, guys. I can't just keep things for the sake of keeping them, so I'm planning on passing this on. Concealer is such a funny concealer because... I didn't love it when I first owned it and then one day I picked it up and I started using it and now I love this concealer so so much. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I don't like the foundation because I don't think I found my right shade and I think it looks very gray tone on me but I love this concealer so so much and I'm happy I own it. It was hiding in my concealer basket so this is the other ordinary foondation and I have the shades. 3.0 Y in both of them, and these are honestly really good. I think they're like $10, and they pack a punch. Okay, so here are the concealers I'm keeping. I'm keeping this MAC palette because my friend Netmi actually uses this, and I thought I'd try it out. I bought this concealer. This is like one of the best ones from the drugstore, and I repurchased it in 2019, so planning on using that up. I have this foundation mixer from NYX to help darken up any foundations. I usually use this mainly for clients, not really on myself. And then I have a bunch of Urban Decay 
naked concealers. I do really like this concealer. I'm currently using one. They go on sale all the time, so clearly I picked up like a backup, which is not something I want to do in 2020, but I do want to use those up. And then my other three concealers in here are the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which is pretty good. I didn't really like this L'Oreal Infallible Full uh, Wear one. I don't think this is the right shade for me, so I think I'm going to declutter that. And then Angie gave me this Nabla one, and it's pretty good. It's nothing like spectacular, but it's good, so I'm going to keep that and use that. Okay, guys, so I had a few other foundations that I'm trying to use up scattered around my beauty room, so I went and got them. The first one I'm trying to use up, as you can see, there's hardly anything left. This is the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup Foundation, and I bought this in the shade 5W1, and... I really like this foundation. It is hydrating. It doesn't feel heavy. Again, it's not cakey. So I really, really enjoy this one from Estee Lauder as well. Anything with the word double wear that's foundation from Estee Lauder has been amazing for me. So I really enjoy this foundation line. This foundation I'm also trying to use up. It was mentioned in my 2019 favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiant Perfecting Foundation. A lot of people didn't like this foundation, but I actually really enjoyed it. I have it in the shade 4N1, and it's fabulous. It lasts all day, but I feel really dewy and glowy when I wear this, so it's a great wintertime foundation for me. And another foundation I'm trying to pan and I really enjoy wearing in the winter is another one by NARS. I did not like this foundation when I first got it. It's the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade, what does it say, Syracuse? So I didn't like this, but then one fine day I picked it up and I started wearing it and I really, really love this foundation now. So really, really keen to use this up and maybe even potentially repurchase this in the future. We'll have to see. So this concealer I just rescued from my empties bin. As you can see, it's not empty, but it's so, so old. I just remember loving this concealer so much. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I've been struggling with my under eyes. And I just want to give this a another shot and see if it works under my eyes. Otherwise, I'm going to repurchase another one of these and have it fresh because I really, really like this concealer so, so much. Two other concealers that are currently in my makeup rotation are the Naked Skin. So this is the one I pulled from here. And this one's been doing really well. And then I bought the e.l.f. Camo Concealer because everyone's been raving about it and it was so and it was so affordable. I was really curious about it. So I bought it and honestly the shade is like a little too dark for me. So I bought Deep Olive and I wish I had maybe like one shade lighter for the winter time. But that's okay. I will power through it. So those are my two concealers that I am currently using. And then last but not least, I could not resist... My favorite drugstore brand released a new foundation and of course I had to pick it up and I wasn't sure again what shades I would need and I picked these up on the Milani website so I bought 400 and 410 and I feel like I can get away with using both of these and I like this foundation so far. It's not as dewy as I was thinking it was going to be. I don't know it doesn't really claim I, say, I guess it's as natural finish so I guess we can make it work. I like this packaging I think it's so cute. It's a glass bottle. People might think this is a little bit cheap looking, but I kind of like it. I think it's really fun, and it looks very fun, I think. Like, a very contemporary design in these bottles. So I really like those for right now. So yeah, that is kind of my final look of my foundation drawer. I will try and remember to give you guys counts. I don't know. I'm not really very good at this, but I am going to do a makeup inventory eventually, but I want to do the declutters first so I can inventory later. Um, but yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite foundation is down in the comments. If you made it to the end, leave me a heart emoji and know that I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being on this low buy journey with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next declutter video soon. Bye guys!